Hi everyone, this is UK Manic Luma and I'm back again with one of Dreaming Out Loud's nine pin bar designs. And this design is named in Spanish, so please excuse my pronunciation of it. It's Bajo La Mar and it means in English, under the sea. And this is the rendition that she has on her account and it is a very beautiful bracelet and as always I have made my own little rendition to practice with and this is the one I've made so there you go I've tried to keep with a very under the sea theme going on here with a little seaweed and the pearls and the black pearls going on there and that's what it looks like on the opposite side so it's a very beautiful bracelet on both sides to wear so yeah, let's get rolling. Okay. Right, let's just zoom out here. And we're gonna do the configuration first. We're gonna go from the first pin bar, we're gonna go directly across inwards, then diagonally down half, go across inwards, diagonally down half. Then we're gonna go diagonally up half, across outwards, diagonally up half, and across outwards. This is a medium to high intensity of tension, so make sure you do brace it up nice and well. So when you're ready to continue, just press play. All right then, let's get started. For the border, I am going to be using these hot pink and ocean blue bands from the Pearl Collection. And I'm also going to be using these multicolored e beads here. I don't think you really see them well. Let's see if I can get a handful of them. You might be able to see it better. A little bit better. So basically, depending on what side of the light you hit, depending what the color looks like. So I'm going to use these as a black pearl under the sea. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Fifth pin bar, we're going to do the first pin of every one. So we're going to go first pin, we're going to go out to the left first, and then we're going to stop there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these little beads in, and I'm going to do all the way up the side. Try and keep my hand out of the way as much as possible. Right. I won't do any more beads because that's just going to slow me down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stop on the third pin from the end here. So your last one will go across here on the straight. And then what you want to do is you're going to straight inwards, diagonally up inwards, straight inwards, and diagonally up inwards. Okay, Let's zoom that in a little bit more if you can see a bit better. Same on this side, so we're going to go back to that fifth pin bar, going on the first pins, out to the ninth pin bar. And then I'm going to bring the beads in again, like so. And I'm going to take them all the way up to the third from the end here. And then I'm going to go across inwards, diagonally up, inwards, across inwards, diagonally up, inwards. Okay, so I'm going to go off and get all these beads laid. And when you've done the same, just press play. All right, then that's the border done. Next, we're going to be doing a single line all the way on the fifth pin bar. And I'm going to be beading this too. So I'll just get my beads ready. So you're just gonna go literally all the way. I'm not gonna stay on for the whole thing because these beads are gonna take some time. So what I would advise on this design is if you are going to bead as well, is to put one blank band first on this end and one blank band on the other end. 
and that just allows the space for the design closing. So I'll just do a couple here. I'm sure you know what a straight line looks like. I've just got these. I'm not too sure if I can get these in focus actually. No, it's not going to let me do it, is it? No, these are really cute little green beads on a mother of pearl here. I'm just going to do one more and then I'm going to jump off camera. Hopefully you'll be able to see them a bit better once they're off the loom and the overall design. So, okay, yeah, go straight down the middle. When you're ready, just press play. Okay, so that's the centre done. Time to move on to the next part. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. It's being temperamental. There you go. Okay, so the next part I'm going to be doing in this purple blue pearl, and it's this light bit here. I just flip it over on the back. You can see that it's a different stitch to the back but those two blend lovely together so I'll be using that same colour combo and what we'll be doing is we'll be doing seven layout so first pin bar first pin we're going to go dangling up and in and then we're going to go from that pin we're going to go across and out so we've made our seven if I can get it as much as I can get it zoomed in. Okay, and then from the second pin, we're going to go diagonally up and in. From the pin there, we're going to go up, sorry, not up, cross and out even. From where we just left off, up and in. From where we just left off, in. Oh, getting all mixed up now. Cross and out. Okay. I'll just show you on this side where I can zoom in a little bit more because the tripod's not in the way. So we're starting on the ninth pin bar, first pin, we're going to go diagonally up and inwards. From where we just left off, we're going to go across and out, diagonally up and inwards, across and out, diagonally up and inwards, and across and out. So go ahead and do that all the way on both sides and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, now they are done, we are going to add two simple lines to this design and they are going to be placed on the second pin bar and the eighth pin bar and all you're going to do is go on the second, oh, dropping bands, right, go to the second all the way up. For this I'm going to be using Mother of Pearl. And again, on the eighth pin bar, you're going to go all the way up. Okay, so super simple. Take it all the way to the end. When you're ready, just press play. All right, so after those simple straight lines, we are going to add a zigzag. And I'm going to zoom back in. Keep doing that. Right, so second pin bar, first pin, we're going to go diagonally in and then diagonally out. Diagonally in, diagonally out, diagonally in, diagonally out. Okay, so really, really easy. And we're going to do it on the eighth pin bar as well. So diagonally in, diagonally up and out, diagonally up and in, up and out. Up and in, and last one, up and out. So go ahead and take that all the way to the end, and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, so that is the zigzags done. Next we'll be doing some X's, and I'm gonna bring back the rendition that I keep forgetting to bring out. So that's the zigzags we have just done here, and these pink lemonades. See, it's gone out of focus again, terrible. So if I can get it back into focus for you. There you go. Pink lemonades here are the X's. Okay, so I'm going to do the pink lemonades again. And just go grab them. There you go. So what we'll do is when we lay our X's, we're going to start on the third pin bar first pin, and we're always going to bring it diagonally inwards first. 
and then fourth pin bar, first pin and diagonally outwards. So we're going to do that every single time up, so it's always going to go in first, out second, diagonally up and in first, diagonally up and out second. And the same on this side, so we're going to go on this seventh pin bar, first pin, we're going to go diagonally up and in first, then diagonally up and out second, then from that point diagonally in, diagonally out, diagonally in, and one more time, diagonally out, so in, then out, go all the way to the end, when you're ready, just press play. Okay, so that's my X is complete. Next, I'm gonna be laying four lines, and they are gonna be on the third, fourth, uh, sixth and seventh, <laughs> mind crush. Um, so on top of these X's, basically. Now you can see the fourth and sixth pin bars really clearly, but the third and seventh pin bars are a little bit tucked in. So I'm just going to show you my rendition to show you what I mean. And it always seems to focus better if I do that side first. Okay, so it's this mother of pearl here next to the X's. And if you just go in between the zigzag and the X's there, you can just see another mother of pearl just sort of poking through. And obviously on this side as well, you clearly can see that inner lines here, but the one on top between the zigzag and the X's are a little bit hidden, okay? So anyway, what I'll do is I'm going to do Mother of Pearl again and I'm going to do the hidden lines first and that's on my third pin bar. So I'm just going to use Mother of Pearl and I'm not going to bead or anything because it's just hidden inside. And then on the seventh pin bar and I'm just going to go up there. Okay. Next I'm going to be doing the two inner lines and for these I'm going to be beading them but what I want to do first is I'm going to put a empty band on the first one and on the last one and on this side as well and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these lovely mother of pearl with I think there are four possibly no I think more five millimeter round pearl beads and I'm going to just pop them on every single one of them. I won't stay on for much longer. I'll just pop one on there and then I'll leave you. So there you go. So the outer ones are slightly hidden and then the inner ones show. So when you've finished, just press play. Okay then, that's my four lines done. Next we're going to be putting some crossbars on these lines and if I bring back the rendition, oh there you go, zoomed in faster, it's these little things, bands here, oh come on, let's see if I can get it back in for you, it's these bits here, so as it's called under the sea I've gone with the Caribbean green and it represents the seaweed underneath the sea. So I'm going to go with that again and just gone back out of focus. Right, where are my... There there you go. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go third pin bar, second pin, and we're just going to do one across, go up to the next one. We're going to go across and we are just going to keep going across all the way up. And then back here, start on the second one, and we're just going to go across. So I'll just do one more. So you go ahead and do that, and when you're ready, just press play. All right then, it's time for the centre and the last bands to lay. And I'm just going to bring that in a bit more. There you go. Right, okay. 
So what we're going to be doing is just wide X's between the fourth pin bar and the sixth pin bar. So focus on the fifth pin bar and we'll start on the second pin and we're going to go diagonally down to the left, diagonally down to the right, staying with that pin, diagonally up to the left, diagonally up to the right and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to triple cap it one two, three, pop a triple cap on there and then I'm going to move up to the next one. So we're going to go diagonally down to the left, diagonally down to the right, diagonally up to the left, diagonally up to the right and again I'm going to triple cap it so I'm going to do it as I go. There you go and I'll do one more with you. So we're going to go from the next pin up, so that's the fourth now, diagonally down to the left, down to the right, up to the left, up to the right, there you go, and a triple cap band on top. Okay, so do that all the way to the end and when you're ready, just press play. Okay then, it's time to loom up and I've turned mine around and all I need now is one cap band here, so triple cap and oh, actually I'm not going to use that colour, I am going to use this colour so it matches the border and we need one here, so one, two, three And then we're going to need one on the third pin bar. And one on the seventh pin bar. And then we can get started. Right, okay. So we'll start in the middle here. And we're going to get that band that's at the bottom and it's the one that runs down the middle we will grab that bring it forward and back to itself there I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit more for the centre there you go then we're going to go into the second pin and we're going to take the top band which should be this one here and we're going to bring it out and back to itself the next band at the top which should be the one going down to the right and out and back to itself and then up to the left back to itself up to the right back to itself oh, grab the wrong band there let's give our bit of a swell bring it back right grab the right band bring it back to itself then you go into the middle and go forward one. Third pin, go into the cap band, take all four of those bands, starting with the top one first, working your way down, out and back to themselves. So one thing I love about this design, it is really fast to stitch back together and finish. And then we're going to bring that forward one. Then again we're going to go in, grab the top band each time and bring it out and back to itself. And I'll just finish this one off and I'll leave you to it. And then we finish off with moving one forward to the next one. Okay, so go ahead, take that all the way to the end and when you're ready to move on just press play. Okay then that's the centre part done. Next we're going to be tackling these four lines that we laid on top of our X's. Now it doesn't matter which order you do them in, they're just literally going to be going back to themselves. So I'm going to start on the left hand side first and it's the third pin. So I go into that cap band and I just grab that straight forward. Main ring to go into the crossbar here not on the outside so into it and just keep bringing that forward 
and then I'll jump over to the fourth. Now this one looks a bit looser, but that's absolutely fine. So if I just try and zoom that in a bit more, so it's a loose stitch because it's not got the cap band there. And then I'm just going to go in, go inside that green band each time until I take it all the way to the end. Then I'm going to jump to the other side of the centre. So I'm on the sixth pin bar now and I'm just going to take that all the way to the end. I've got my hook caught there. Right. Remembering to go inside those green bands and then last but not least we are going to go on the seventh pin bar and going to take that all the way to the end. So go ahead and do all four lines and when you're ready just press play. All right, so that part's now done. Now we're going to tackle these X's and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit more for you. So we're going to start on the third pin bar. We're going to go in, we're going to grab that band, which is your top band, bring it back to itself inwards, go down one and bring the other one outwards. And we're going to follow that same pattern all the way through. So it's diagonally inwards, then the next part, diagonally outwards, inwards, and outwards, like so. And take it all the way to the end, and we're going to do the same on this side. So it's the seventh pin bar, go in, grab that top band, bring it diagonally up and inwards, back to itself, go down one, and bring the other band back to itself there. And we're going to continue all the way up so it goes in first, drop back down one, out, in, drop back down one, out. Okay, so that's all there is to on this part. Go all the way to the end. When you're ready, just press play. Alright then, that part's also done. Time to move on to these zigzags and just zoom in a little bit more. So we're going to go on to the third pin bar, second pin, and we're going to bring them back to themselves in a teardrop zigzag. So we're going to go in, grab it, bring it down, back to itself, go in, grab it, up, back to itself, down to itself, up to itself, like that. And then we're going to do it on this side as well. So we're in the seventh pin bar, second pin, the one that goes down, back to itself, up, back to itself, down, up, do one more time with you, down and up. Okay, so go the way to the end and when you're ready just press play. Okay, so this is coming along really nicely. We've got two more steps. The first one is going to be these single lines and it's on the second and the eighth pin bar. And all we're going to do is bring them back to themselves. So we're going to go into the second pin bar, grab that mother of pearl and bring it back to itself. So it will have a loose look there. And then we're just going to keep doing that all the way to the end. And then we'll come over to this cross bit, to the eighth one. And again, just go into all those bands, grab that next band, which is My Mother of Pearl, and just bring it back to itself all the way to the end. So when you're ready, just press play. Right, now let's do this border. What we're going to do first is this diagonal line on either side. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. Let's see if I can change the tripod a bit. No, that's about as much as we're going to get after doing an angle. Right, okay, so we're going to second pin bar, first pin, and this diagonal going here, we're going to just bring it back to itself, up and out, like that. Then we're just going to leave it for a moment. So I'm just going to sort this band out. Right, okay, so we're going to go into the cap band, fifth pin bar. We're going to grab that top band that goes to the left. And we're going to bring it back to itself all the way to the first pin bar. Okay, 
like that okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring one forward to join this diagonal we've just done and then we're going to go into this one and we're going to grab that cross band and we're just going to bring it inwards like so then from there we're going to go in grab that diagonal bring it across up and back to itself drop down one bring the border forwards from there go and grab the cross brand bring it back inwards go into that pin diagonally up and out back to itself go down one grab the border go straight forwards go into that one and across out I'll do one more we're going to go diagonally up and in go down one sorry diagonally up and out even <laughs> then we're going to go up one then we're going to go and grab this cross we're going to go in and then we'll start with the diagonal again okay this time I'm going to be able to zoom in a little bit more for you there you go so we're going to grab that diagonal first and we're going to bring it up and back to itself then we're going to come back to the centre here we're going to go into the fifth pin bar grab that border bring it back to itself until we get to the ninth pin bar like so bring it back in again there you go now we go forward one to meet up with the diagonal in that pin we go and grab the cross and we go inwards go into that pin we'll grab the diagonal and go up and out drop down one bring the border forwards before we take that cross band and bring it in with and back to itself then we're going to go into that pin grab the diagonal up out and back to itself down one bring that border forward once go into that one grab the crossbar and bring it inwards and then we'll just finish off there with the diagonal up and out so repeat that pattern all the way to the end until you get to the fifth pin bar and you would have completed it I'll quickly jump on in a second and show you what your loom should look like if you've got it all nice and correct before I will finish off and take my bands off the loom myself and then show you the finishing product afterwards okay so be right back okay so it's off my loom so how does it look well here it is this is the back side of my design and like I said it's highly reversible so this side would look just as brilliant to wear as the signature side now I got my colour combo idea from looking at some oyster shells inside the oyster shells and the different tonal um, shines that they give off and that's why I've chose all these pearls and I think I've done it quite well if I don't say so myself but how does the signature side look well here it is this is my signature side and I'm in love with it completely uh, I found these fantastic beads on Amazon after dreaming out loud had asked me to do the tutorial and I just knew I had to do the tutorial with these beads so yeah there you go it's the seaweed and all the the seashells and stars and coils and they're all in amongst the seaweed here followed by a border of white pearls and then obviously your normal colours and then the black pearls on the outside so I am super happy with this and um, I hope Dreaming Out Loud likes my rendition. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the wrist. See if I can get it back into focus. 
There you go. That's how it'll look as a bracelet. So really cool. And if I just turn it over, it's a perfect size for me. So that was two full loom lengths long. So yeah, okay. Let's round this up then. This is called, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly again, Bajo Le Mar and what's it? Bajo El Mar, El Mar, sorry, Belha El Mar, which is Spanish for under the sea. It was designed, of course, by the talented Dreaming Out Loud and tutorialized by me, UK Manic Luma. So without further ado, from the UK, bye.